Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Katara K. Today I just want to come with you with a quick, cute little video on how I do my makeup for the summertime. Uh, just so you are aware, I am not, and I repeat, I am not a makeup artist. I only know how to do my own makeup and I feel like my makeup looks pretty good for someone that has not been trained at all and that has been watching YouTube videos practically her whole teenage years so adulthood. So yeah. If you guys want to continue watching to see how I get my summertime glow look. Watching. So first off before I do any makeup at all I always like to make sure that I moisturize my face. I do use my First Aid Beauty um, face and body moisturizer, which works great for me. And I also like to make sure that I also hydrate my lips. Sorry for the packaging, it's really old. But this is the, let's see if I can get it to. Mm, it's the Bella Spirit by Chastine Restorative Lip. Uh, treatment translucent, so I should put that on my lips as well. Um, before doing this midi this video, I actually did my eyebrows beforehand, just because it's something that's quick and simple and easy for me to do. That I learned from a makeup artist at Morphe. That suits my face. So the next thing that I do after I do my eyebrows, so I have to do my eyebrows first. That's step one of my makeup routine is I go in with my foundation. Today I will be using Lancome Tonti Duel Ultra Wear. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, it's a 24 hour color wear and comfort transfer resistant foundation. Um, I'm in the color 555C. So that's what it looks like. Hopefully trying to right so since it is a daytime look I don't like to go full coverage or like heavy on makeup I like to do very a very light sheen over spread nothing too crazy nothing too heavy because I still like for my skin to breathe any way possible it can so I always take just one pump on my hand just one pump and this should actually serve its purpose in covering my whole face and any dark spots that I do use, or that I do have, sorry. I don't use dark spots like that. Sorry about that. And I also use my beauty blender. So sorry that it is dirty because I do use it. Um, but I use my beauty blender, wet, and I just had it on here. And I just start to move it around. See if I can zoom in more as I'm doing this. I just start to pat it on my face. I love the smooth finish that a beauty blender gives. Um, sometimes I do use a brush on my face, but that just depends on what exactly, what look I'm exactly trying to go for. I may have to use some more, so please forgive me. And sorry if you see like little sweat droplets. It is hot AF where I am and I actually walked out of the room with AC to film. So please bear with me as I suit. And if you notice, I only put it in places that I need. Um, I tend not to really put anything on my forehead just because I feel like I don't need it. I don't have any dark spots, but occasionally I will just take the remnants of what's on the beauty blender and just kind of pat, like, lightly pat it and drag it down. Thank you. 
So now that I have this very light coverage, not too heavy, I like to go ahead and use my Morphe concealer that I also use on my eyebrows as well to shape, help shape them further. This is in the color C5.35. I use either this concealer or I use the Fenty Beauty Trio concealer for dark um, skin complexion, which is also in the color suede. Um, I use that, uh, but today I'll be using more. So I just use the wand that they give us and I just lightly put it where I feel it might be needed. I'm sorry if you see me check on the mirror on the side, I just want to make sure I don't look crazy. So from there, I take the pointed edge of the beauty blender and I use that to get right up under the eye and right into like the small crease here to make sure that it's all blended out together and it looks good. I know that some girls like to use their hands, but I prefer to use my beauty blender that way my hands aren't messy because I usually have cute nails or like a cute nail color and I don't want it to get stained with my makeup. And just here. So once my con my foundation is on, my concealer is on, under my eye, like my forehead to highlight certain places of my face, I go in with my Fenty Beauty. I go in with my Fenty Beauty um, Sun Stalker Bronzer in the color Mocha Mommy. You can see that if it focuses. I think it's focusing too much on my hand, but well, if I can ever get this open, got it. But this is what it looks like. And of course, I still have the plastic thing. I feel like me being a Virgo, like I just like everything to be neat. I still actually have the box and everything um, for this. And then I also have the bronzer brush, which is a little dirty, but because I've been using it. Um, but this is a brush for the bronzer by Fenty Beauty. And what I do here is I just, of course, brush to bronzer. And I pat it a little bit. And I go from the apples of my cheek up. So. There we go. And you can see the difference from here to here. Or at least I see the difference. How uh, there's more red here and not so much there. put some on the tip of my nose over my eyelids to give it a pop of color I have that sun kiss look um, I know that a lot of beauty bloggers or beauty youtubers that I watch they usually use their bronzer and they make, make a three all the way down or their contour I cannot do that because my forehead is literally a three head I have such a small forehead that I, I would make my forehead look even more smaller than what it actually is so I honestly just keep it to my cheekbones my nose and over my eyes I rarely do anything with the jawline when it comes to the bronzer just because I feel like I don't really need to So 
So after I'm done with my bronzer, sorry if I keep looking down, I do have all of my brushes congregated here in this one area. So after I do my bronzer, I go ahead and I grab my powder, which is also by Fenty Beauty in the color Coffee. And I just put it all over my face. I apply it all over my face. And like one thing that I love about this um, powder is that it actually comes out like that. Um, it's not like a, I don't even know what they're called. But it's not like one of those things where you have to like actually rub the brush in to whatever you can just, with this, you can just easily pat your brush in here and it'll pick up all of the little fibers and particles. And I just use the powder on places that I didn't really put the bronzer to make sure that everything is set and good to go. And once I'm done with the powder, so you see how my face looks very matte. It doesn't look like I'm really wearing any makeup besides the bronzer. To give it that extra kick, if you want, you can go ahead and add a highlight. I usually use my Laura Mercier, or Laura Mercier. Brown, um, highlight in the color Seduction, um, but for this look, I'm not really going to. I just wanted to keep it simple and straightforward, nothing too crazy, but if you want to do that, go ahead. Then to finish off this look, I use mascara, and this one, if it can focus in, is the Wet n Wild Lash and Engage Mascara. So I just like to use that and add it to my lashes just to give it more of a little pop. Since I have such a bare face right now and there's barely any color to it. Um, one thing that I did learn when applying mascara from a makeup artist, a lot of people they do like use mascara a lot and like they always double dip and come back and just keep dipping it but it actually does something to the formula and to the actual paint for your mascara within itself. Um, so you're supposed to just dip it once and use it for both lashes even though I kind of did it twice but that's fine. And. I just like to use the ball part to pull up my lashes. I don't know why I make this face whenever applying mascara. I think all of us girls do it, right? If you don't, then go ahead, girl. So. Because my face is very bland and there's not a lot of color to it, I'm going to go ahead and add a pop of color to my lips. Um, so the first thing that I do with my lips is I like to line them. I use the Kiss Professionals, this one actually. I use the Kiss Professionals Lip Luxury, oh, look, sorry, Luxury Intense Lip Liner um, in the color Dark Plum Purple. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. And because I had that lip balm on, I just like to pull it out. That way it kind of bleeds in. Then 
then I go in with one of my favorite like lip colors or like one of my favorite beauty brands which is Bite. Um, this is their lip color Glace. Um, I love this for summer, winter, fall, spring. Uh, I use this lip color all around or a lip color similar to this. But I love Bite because their formula is so soft and it keeps your lips moisturized. Oh no, this is all I have left. This is how you know that I've been using the heck out of this. So I just do, I concentrate the color on the bottom portion of my lip. Nothing too crazy, not a lot. I don't think it's a lot anyway. But then what I do is just like lip balm. And this is the lips. And this is the lips without the gloss that I'm gonna add. So if you want, you could just end your look here. And this is the look that you would have which is very nice for a red, like a nice normal day outside, maybe for like a little Starbucks run or something. Um, but if you're like me, like to be a little extra, I'm gonna go ahead and add the Katy Girl, <sighs> the Katy Perry, I swear you guys, today I cannot speak. The Katy Perry Cover Girl, like in Cover Girl uh, lip gloss that she had. I don't know if it's gonna focus. And this is the color Catalope Chatalope. And I just added the color directly to the center here. And then just, so then when the light hits your lip, if you're outside, it's gonna give that beautiful beautiful shimmer. So I'm just gonna zoom in for you guys so you can see it. Just love that iridescent. And that is the look you guys. I hope you like it. I hope you We'll try this look out and tell me what you think about it or sh even better show me um, and just let me know what your summertime looks are and how you do your summertime makeup. Um, I think I'm just going to add a little highlight to it just so I can glam it up a bit because I kind of feel it myself. So. Okay you guys, I'm back. I went ahead and added a little bit of highlight to my face, see that? But yeah, going back to what I was saying before, thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share. Um, let me know what your looks are um, and how you wear your summer makeup in the comment section down below. Yeah, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this look. Have an amazing weekend, you guys. Bye. Hey, you guys. So sorry. I know that I closed out, but I forgot the most important piece to this look is when you're going out in that sun. I'm going to go ahead, or I went ahead, actually, and I set my face with the Super Goop. This is what I like to focus. But I used a Super Goop Setting Mist Broad Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 50. Um, I love this. It not only protects my skin, well, not only sets my makeup, but it's also SPF and it protects my skin from the harsh UV rays from the beautiful sun that we all get our energy from. So, yeah. Love this stuff, swear by it. I got this at Urban Outfitters for like 10 bucks and I'm pretty sure you can pick a, a bigger size or even this travel size at your nearest Sephora. Um, but yeah, that's what I meant to say. Sorry about that.
again, have an amazing summer.